You better doubt your doubts, but never doubt God. I don't care what you've been through. I want to tell you that God is able. This one says, God is able if you believe. God is able if you believe. Listen, my God is able if you believe. My God is able if you believe. Believe. Your provider. provider, if you believe, he's Jehovah Jireh. If you believe, say one more time, he's your provider. If you believe, hallelujah, hallelujah. It is an honor and a privilege. For us again once more to meet during this time where we are in our homes, but where the message of the Lord is coming to us in our homes. Greetings, beloved, in the wonderful name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us open our Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 14. We will start reading from verse 27. We will end at 31. But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, cheer up. It is, but do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the waters. And he said to him, come. And Peter stepped down from the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. Verse 30, but when he saw that the wind was strong, he was afraid. And he began to sink. But he cried out saying, Lord, save me. And 31 says, immediately Jesus stretched out his hand, took hold of him and said to him, you of little faith, why did you doubt? As we pray, Father God, we thank you for the word. We thank you, Lord, for reminding us today through this word, that, oh God, we are still taking care of us. Father, bless the reading of these words as you prepare our hearts to receive the message that you have prepared for us today. Hallelujah. Saints, we know the story, the story of Peter walking on the water. But let us bring it back to the time that we are at right now. The globe... The whole world is affected by this virus. And it is a very small virus. Something that we do not even see with our naked eyes. But what this virus has done, it has brought fear to the most of us. That is why we are seeing even the government right now. They are putting in regulations to say that you need to remain in the houses. And that is fear. Because we are fearing of what we do not know. And as a result, most of us are trying to put things together and saying that we need to cover ourselves 
And we are afraid of this thing that we cannot even see. The challenge is that fear hinders our faith. But we hear Jesus again here. He is saying to Peter, you of little faith. And this comes home, saints. Fear hinders what God has given us. God has given us in the book of 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. He says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and sound mind. And this is what we have to use at this time. We need to remember what the Bible has said to us. We need to remember what God has given us. God has given us the spirit of power and of sound mind. Saints, fear grips us with doubts and insecurities. That is what we saw when Peter was walking up on water. He began to doubt himself. He began to doubt the person that he was seeing. He began to doubt and say, is this the Lord that I myself has confessed to say, Lord, if it is you, call me to come. And that is the problem with fear. And in most cases, fear is a weapon that the enemy uses. Because the, min the moment you have fear, you forget about yourself. But allow me today to remind you that our Lord is the Lord that says to us, let us look up to him. Let us keep looking up to Jesus. For if we fix our eyes unto the author and the finisher of our lives, we will remain in him. Let's go back to the scripture. It says, he calmed the storm. And even today, our Lord, Jesus Christ, can still calm this storm of this coronavirus. Because if he commands us and he says to us, my children, obey me by praising me. Obey me by continuing to praise me even where you are. There's a song that says, Uyalalelwa. No, my simo, singer for me. Even today, we can still remain in him because he has never moved from where he is. He is still the same as yesterday. He is still the same today. He will still be the same even after the coronavirus. But the Lord is saying to you and I today, we need not to fear. Hallelujah. We need not to fear. So today, I just want to remind you that the Lord says, fear not, fear not, for I am with you. Hallelujah. Fear not, for I, your God, I am with you. Hallelujah. Fear not, for I, your God, I am with you. And the Lord says to you and I today, fear not, I have overcome the enemy. On your behalf. Fear not. I have opened up the door of the kingdom for you. Fear not. I have given you authority to use my name and calm the storm. Fear not. For I am forever the same for you. Fear not. For my spirit is greater than fear. Fear not. For my spirit is speaking right now even at this time. Fear not. For my spirit is there to guide you. Fear not. For my spirit reveals the lies of the enemy. Fear not. For I have long restored your greatest provision. Listen to me, child of God. Fear is an assassin. Don't let fear get hold of you today. Fear is a deceiver. Don't let fear grip you today. Fear was defeated. I can challenge you and say to you today, fear was defeated. So all you have to do is to look at this fear and laugh at it and say, my God defeated you on the cross. My God said to you one day, it is finished. So even today, you are the overcomer. Come to the place of rest. 
The Bible says in Psalms 42 verse 2, Therefore we will not fear, even though the earth may be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, as the children of God, we will not fear. The Lord is on our side, saints. Let us not fear, for the Lord is on our side. He says again in the book of Matthew, as I'm about to close, chapter 14, verse 27. Cheer up. Do not be afraid. This is the message today that encourages you and I that though there are things that are moving around, but our Lord is saying, do not be afraid. Hallelujah. Child of God at home, you can only not be afraid if you have Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because he is the only one who can hold you. He says, I will hold you with my right righteous hand. And he can only do that if you have opened up your heart unto him as your Lord and Savior. For he is the omnipresence. He is the omnipotence. He is Jehovah Shammah. He is Jehovah Shalom. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is Jehovah Nisi. Even today, he alone can calm the storm in your life. He alone can calm the storm that is affecting the whole universe. He alone can calm the storm that we are faced with at this present moment. May I invite you to open your heart today and receive him if you don't know him. For immediately, the Bible says, immediately, when Peter said, if it is you, O oh God, command me to come. And immediately, he went up. But my verse for you today says in 31, when Peter was sinking, and he said, Lord, save me. You can also say the same words and say, Lord, save me. Immediately after he said that, the storm ceased. So this is my invitation to you to say you can accept him as your Lord and Savior. Even though you are home, even though you are not in the church building, but you can still accept him as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Esantlin is somosa siakrinwa. Esantlin is somosa siakrinewe. You can come, child of God, and receive him. May I pray with those who are saying today, Sis Kuz, I am ready to open my heart for Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we thank you. Father, your word says you left the 99 and you went to look for one. And today, your oh God, your children are coming back to you. They are coming back to the house of worship. They are coming back to their origin because you are the creator of our lives. You are the Alpha and you are the Omega. Father God, we pray and we rejoice with those that are saying, Lord, if it is you, save us. And we believe that you have already saved him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. He's the healer. I don't care whether you call it AIDS or you call it cancer. I want you to know that AIDS is a name. Cancer is a name. But there's yet another name above AIDS. The name of Jesus is above AIDS. The name of Jesus is above cancer. He's your healer tonight. If you believe, Jehovah Rapha.
your heat.